Hello everyone, welcome to GSTR Return Software. Today, I am going to explain how to file GSTR three times faster than any other software. You can file unlimited invoices of one company in just 150 rupees. We have a smart GSTR 2 reconciliation tool to claim 100% IDC. We have provided complete validation before filing GSTR. You can fetch your data through Tally Connector tool. We have a smart Excel mapping tool too. You can also notify through email or SMS to claim more ITC. This software generates GSTR 3D summary in just a click. So let's start with the demo. This is the home page of our software. You can see your company details and previous month's filing status here. This is the user guide which guides you for further steps. Now, the first step is to add company. It's a one-time process. I had already added the company, so now I will select it from the drop-down. Second step is to click on the GST dashboard. As you click on GST dashboard, the screen opens up. You can see GSTR 1, 2 and 3 details here. Now the next step is to select month and year from the drop-down. Let's file GSTR1. To proceed, click on Process button. Here, you can import your data from Excel sheet or tally. Let's file GSTR1 from Excel. First, you have to download the template from here. Now, this is the template. You just need to map your data in the template. So, I have already mapped my data in the template. I will choose it from here and click on Upload. Let's see section 1 by 1. These are my invoices. In View and Upload Sale Invoices, you can edit or view your invoices. Click on the box to edit. After editing, Click on update on GST. Your data will be saved on GST portal. In view GSTR1 invoices, the software bifurcates the data automatically according to its categories. You can even delete incorrect invoices from here. Then click on GST if deleted. Update on GST. Now final stage is to file GSTR1 return. It shows the summary of your invoices and GSTR invoices. After validating, click on eSign. Click on eSign. You'll get an OTP. Submit it and you are done with GSTR1 filing. In case if there is any error in government side or any server issue, you can download GSTR1 in JSON format. So you are done with GSTR1 filing. Now let's go for GSTR2. Here. The import process is same as GSTR1. Now let's import the data through Tally. First download GSTR Tally tool from here. I have already downloaded it. So I will open it from here. Now for this Tally should be open. Select company, month and year from the drop down. And click on sync. After syncing is done. You can select company ID from here. Copy the GUID. Thirty seven vouchers are copied. Paste it in the given column. Then click on Sync. Your invoices will be uploaded. In View Purchase Invoices, you can view or edit your invoices. In View GSTR 2A Invoices, you can view invoices from GSTR portal. Now, the last step is Reconciliation. You can compare supplier details with your details. You can download supplier details from here. 
Now click on auto reconcile to match your data automatically. We can claim more ITC by converting not match data into partially match. From ITC value table, you can see exact value of ITC that you can claim. D-Link helps you to match your data manually. Now, the main feature provided by the software is to notify by mail or SMS to claim more ITC. So, you are done with GSTR2 here. Now, let's go for GSTR3B. This is the summary of 1 and 2. You can download auto-generated G3B summary from here. After validating, you can click on Upload on GST. In Offset Liability, you can check your 3B payment amount and go to the government portal to initiate payment. After successful payment, click here to Upload Offset Liability. In File GSTR 3B Return, after successful payment, click on eSign. You will get an OTP submitted and you are done with the filing. You can download 3B Summary PDF from here. Thank you for watching our video. For more details, visit our website.